welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. So today I filmed this mermaid look. It was inspired by Nikki Tutorial. She did this look a while back and I will link that video below. I didn't do it exactly like her, but that was definitely the inspiration. So what inspired me to do this was because one of my good friends has um, a baby girl on the way and she had an under the sea slash mermaid themed baby shower. I made the cake for it and I'll have a video up for that pretty soon. But I do her baby shower and I really, really loved how it turned out but I didn't have a chance to. I was kind of in a hurry that day so I didn't really have time to film it that day so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to recreate it. That day I did use um, winged liner. I did not do that today. But that's okay. Um, I still like the way it turned out without the liner. You can, you know, add liner or not, whatever, and, you know, it's personal preference. I think it looks great either way. So, yeah. So, if you want to see how I got this everyday mermaid makeup look, then just okay, keep watching. First I'm going to be moisturizing with this Tarte Maracuja Oil. Then I'm going to be priming with my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I'm just going to dot that all over the face and rub it in really quickly. Next, I'm going to be taking a Morphe foundation brush and just blending the rest of that primer in. And then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth foundation and mixing it with this Stila Kitten Shimmer All Over Shimmer Liquid. Then I'm just going to go over that with a damp beauty blender and just blend the rest of it out because I just, I like to start off with a brush and then finish with a beauty blender with the foundation. And here is my kitty. This is Whiskey. Say hello, baby. He's my friend. He loves to sit there and watch me when I do my makeup. Okay, next I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light and just going under my eyes. Down the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead just to conceal under my eyes and highlight the rest of my face. And again, just taking that damp beauty blender and blending all of that out. <music> Okay, once that's all blended, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder and just set under my eyes and the rest of my face with that. And once I've done all of that, I'm going to go back over my face with my Urban Decay Powder Foundation in Medium Light and just add a little more coverage and a little more color to my face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and just put that all over the lid and then I'll just gently blend it out with my finger don't really rub it around just kind of pat it in and then i'm going to set it with a light eyeshadow so i'm going to start off using my Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay. This is one of my favorite palettes. And I'm just going to be using the shade Chandelier. And it's the lightest shade in the palette just to set my eyes. And this will just help the rest of the shadows have something, a nice base to go onto. And they'll blend a lot better, I believe. Then I'm going to go in with my first transition shade, and I'm going to be using this shade Millennial. 
and just dusting that all over the crease and I'm using a really big fluffy blending brush and it'll cover most of the lid and I really love this brush for transition shades it just really blends them out great and gets it kind of all over the lid then I'm gonna go in with the shade girls night and it's just like a deep dark burnt red or burnt orange kind of shade orange red and just taking a blending crease brush and just putting that right in the crease and going back and forth in like windshield wiper motions and just trying to keep it on the outer mostly on the outer corner and then dragging it towards the center of the lid okay so once I've dusted that in the crease I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just go back over each shade that I add, I will go back over it and blend it out just so it'll be a more smooth transition between each shade. So after I finish blending everything, I'm going to go in with the shade Follow Me. It's just a metallic purple shade and I'm going to dust that all over the lid. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with the shade Double Tap, and this is just a deep royal purple with a little bit of shimmer, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner or the outer V of the eye just to deepen it up and to make it a little more like a cat eye, kind of smoky effect, and then going back in with that blending brush and blending out the edges. Then I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going to be using the shade Jilted first and it is the pinky purple electric kind of shade in there and I'm going to dust that all over the lid as well and I just love this shade. It is just so unique and so pretty and it's just like so vibrant and it's not something you'd wear every day. Well, I probably would but it's just so pretty and I just love to play with color every now and then and this palette is great for that. And again, just going back and blending the edges with that same clean blending brush, which is probably not so clean anymore, but it's still doing its job. Then I'm going to go in with the other purple shade. It is the, it's called Urban. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye and try to avoid the center of the lid. And once I've done that on both eyes, I'm going to go in with this teal shade. It's called Fringe. It's so beautiful. I'm just going to put that right on the center of the lid with a pencil brush. So once I've got that teal on the center of the lid like I want it, I'm going to go back in with that brush that we put the purple on the lid with and just kind of blend it into the teal just so they transition smoothly again. And then I'm going to go back in the Too Faced Stardust palette and get some more of that red brown shade and put it in the crease just to make more of a definition of that transition shade that we used earlier because I've lost a lot of that color in the blending. And then I'm going to take another clean blending brush and go over that. Now I'm just going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Endless Sea pigment and put that right over top of Fringe. Then I'm going to take this pigment by Eternal Color and this is the shade Eternal Sea or maybe no it's Aquamarine and we are going to go right over where we put the L'Oreal Infallible Pigment and we're just going to layer these and it's going to give it a lot more depth and dimension and I was just showing you I use my Stila eyebrow pencil to do my brows today and next I'm going in with this Stila Magnificent Metals Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Metallic Jade. 
and I'm going to pop that right over the other teal shades just for some extra sparkle. And it really does help to spray your brush with setting spray or Fix Plus or just get it wet to work with this. Then I'm going to go in with my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Glitter Pen. And this is the shade Green Glimmer. Then I'm going to take my Too Faced Bulletproof 24 Hour Shadow Liner. And this is the shade Get Lucky. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line and the water line for just some more teal, of course, for our mermaid look. You can't have enough purple and teal for a good mermaid look. And once I have it on both eyes, I'm going to take the other end of it and it just has a smudger on the other end and I'm going to smudge it out just to make it, of course, more blended like always. Then I'm going to take my Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Royal and just put it right on that lower lash line right over the teal. I don't know that this made a huge difference, but I wanted to use it, so I did. Once I've done that, I'm going to take this Calvin Klein One Gloss Eye Color in the shade 500 Pop. This is just like a sea foam green or like a sea glass green shade. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to put some highlighter over that later. And then I'm going to take my Too Faced Endless Summer Matte Bronzer and contour lightly with that. So once I've finished contouring, I'm going to take this Pacifica bronzer in the shade Sunkissed and just bronze up the sides of my face and my forehead and my jawline for a nice bronzed mermaid out in the sun, sun-kissed look. Once I've bronzed everything, I'm going to go over my cheeks with my Hourglass mood light ambient lighting powder and that's just gonna give us a little more glow a little more illumination to the skin and just a hint of blush as well then for my actual blush i'm going to be going in with the kat von d shade and light blush and this is the shade morticia and then i'm going to go in with gomez and they have like a light shade and a dark shade Once I've done my blusher, I'm going to contour my nose and I'm just going back in with that Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer and just contouring the nose. Snatch that nose up real quick. And of course, we're going to blend that out. Then of course we have to highlight like the mermaids we are. So I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Times Nicole Guerrero and I'm going to be using Forever Lit. I'm just going to put that in the inner corners of my eyes and at the arch of my brows. Then I'm going to take the Forever Young shade. It's just this lavender shade. I'm going to be highlighting my cheek bones and my forehead and my nose cupid's bow and my chin with that shade
And of course, I had to be extra, so I went in with my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter in the shade Luminous and added just even more highlight because why not? Next, I'm going to do my lips, and I'm going to be using the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Rose. And it's just like a peachy nude shade. I feel like it's kind of like coral too. And I feel like it's like a totally beach shade for a mermaid. Then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It is waterproof because us mermaids need our mascara to be waterproof. Then I'm going to go over my lips with the Gerard Cosmetics Dream Weaver Metallic Liquid Lipstick or the Metal Matte liquid lipstick and just topping off our lips with that for a little more shine and glow and sparkle and shimmer because we are being a um, mystical creature so of course and then I'm just gonna set my face with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Boosting Mist and that is my completed look I just popped on some lashes I didn't do any liner so I hope you enjoyed this, and if you use this look, then please tag me if you can, or send it to me. I would love to see. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and Jesus loves you too. God bless you all. Bye.